But I feel like the only time I see feature, it's literally promo. Am I lying? Hey y'all, it's me, Pretty Witty 77 and if you are a witty, then welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, what's up? So today's video is going to be the battle of the hair products, okay? So I asked my Instagram stories, hey y'all, which one would you prefer? I gave you guys the option to choose between this brand or this brand. So today you guys are going to be getting the results, which is the people's choice, and how I feel. Which one would I choose and why? So let's get into the video. Curls versus LK Natural. 62 to 38%. Curls wins this round. I've used both of these hair brands and I probably would give this one to Curls because they got a good deep conditioner. <laughs> Eden Body Works versus Myels. Hmm. This one was a landslide vote from the People's Choice. 77% Myels, 23% Eden Body Works. Myels wins this round. And if I would have to vote myself, I probably will vote Myels because I don't really play around with Eden no more. I feel like it was a starter brand for me, but if you do have an Eden Body Works favorite products, leave it below, sis. Maybe I'll try it. Jane Carter Solutions versus Miss Jessie's. I don't hear a lot of people talking about either one of these, but Miss Jessie wins this round with 60% of the vote. 40% voted for Jane Carter. This is a really, <laughs> this is a real hard like thing for me like to choose. But I'll probably go with Miss Jessie. I feel like they got more of a, a variety. I don't know. I only tried one Jane Carter Solutions like product. I don't know. I'll probably say Miss Jessie though. Obia Naturals versus Oyen Naturals. This one was so close, but the people's choice that Oyen is better. 52% to 48%. Really close. But if I had to vote, over your naturals, bro. Like, they got some real good deep conditioner and they're vegan. I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I think Oyen vegan too, but I need to like play around more with their products. Talia Wajid versus TGIN. Thank God it's natural. This one surprised me, but the people's choice say TGIN takes the win. 65 to 35. That's kind of a landslide. Y'all already know I'm rocking with TGIN because they got that honey here, mir honey miracle. They got that honey miracle mask. Team TGIN. Okay, so this next one, I feel like this is one of the most popular one. A lot of people voted for this. This is the main choice versus Camille Rose. Two booming brands. I feel like everyone got like a solid like consumer base, but. The people's choice of the two was Camille Rose. 56% Camille Rose, 44% the main choice. It was close, but Camille Rose came out on top. If I had to choose, I'm rolling with Camille Rose. The leave-ins, bro, like the leave-ins. <sighs> okay, so now we on Cream of Nature versus Cantu. <laughs> Which one y'all think won? The people's choice that Cream of Nature is taking the win on this one. Cream of Nature getting 64% of the vote. If I gotta choose, I'm probably gonna go with Cream of Nature because I like the edge control. This it. So the next one, I'm really sensitive about it. Cause I really did. I did it. I put Shea Moisture against Camille Rose Natural. And I felt like when I was preparing them, when I said Shea Moisture, I knew it had to be like a strong contender. Because you can't put anybody up against Shea Moisture and they got 52 lines. You know what I mean? The People's Choice voted Shea Moisture the winner, 54%. It was a real close one. 54% versus Camille Rose, 46 I was kind of sad because I wanted Camille Rose to win. <laughs> Which goes to say that if I had to choose one or the other, it's going to still be Camille Rose. <laughs> so let's get into gels. You already know the two, the infamous two, I feel like the most popular gels ever is going to be the Eco Styler versus the Wet Line. And of course, Eco Styler won by 68% of the vote. The people have spoken. And I have too. I probably would choose Eco, okay? I love wet line. I do. But I'm gonna roll with Eco because they got options. You can get the Argan, Argon, <laughs> get the Argon, Olive, Crystal. You, you got options. So the next battle is Ajwa Beauty versus The Do. 
okay i've used both the people's choice say audio beauty wins but it was kind of close 55 percent audio beauty 44 percent the do like that's really close i was really shocked and surprised at that i don't know why well i'm shocked and surprised because if i had to vote i would definitely be leaning towards audio beauty stay sleep stay sleep so another edge control battle, okay? Two really popular brands. We're gonna go with the Hicks edge control versus the, um, I don't know if they say EBIN or EBIN um, edge control. Surprisingly, Hicks won the battle, y'all. Like it shocked me, I don't know. I, I know Hicks is popular, but I don't really see a lot of people be using it. It won with 53% of the vote, so that's real close. But like y'all, if I had to choose, I probably would choose the EBIN. Evan, however you said, as I am an Aunt Jackie's. Hmm, as I am one, the people have spoken. It was kind of a huge difference. As I am coming in with 68% of the vote, if I had to choose between the two, I'm definitely gonna go with as I am because I have a deep conditioner that I like from them, so. As I am, as I am. All right, y'all, let's talk about brushes. Um, we're going to put the Deming brush up against the Tangle Teaser. Now, I know both of these are real popular, but guess what the people said, though? The Deming brush takes the win. 60% of the vote, 40% went with the Tangle Teaser. I prefer the Tangle Teaser on the ends of my hair, but everywhere else, Deming, sweetie. So, weedy. Deming. So, that just goes to say that I most definitely would choose the Deming brush, like, most definitely which is probably giving away the next round which is i put the demon brush against the felicia leatherwood brush a lot of people rave about this brush i i, I got a knockoff of the felicia brush and the demon brush still came out on top like i don't care y'all can hate on the demon brush all you want to it still comes out on top so ding 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 so the next pose either feature a brand that I have not tried and one that I had, so I can't really vote because I didn't try the opposite, or they just feature two brands that I've never tried. My opinion will be which one I'm most likely to try first. So Kinky Curly versus Diva Curl. I'm gonna go with Kinky Curly and the People's Choice also went with Kinky Curly. Mm. Soul Tentacles versus Honey Handmade. I've tried Soul Tentacles. I love Soul Tentacles. I actually have packages of Honey Handmade on the way. So be on the lookout if y'all want my opinion. I've never tried them before. <laughs> the People's Choice said the Honey Handmade. I don't know, y'all ain't never like suggested something of me to use from them. So I was like surprised, but barely, it barely won. Uncle Funky's Daughter versus Natural Club. A lot of people are raving about the deep conditioner. I'm not sure if it's true. Maybe they need to get at me in PR and make a believer out of me. But I feel like the only time I see the Natural Club feature, it's literally promo. Am I lying? Curl Mix vs. Curl Dynasty. Battle of the curls, okay? Never tried either one, but if I was to choose a, a brand to try, I definitely would try Curl Dynasty. Um, I see a couple of people talking about Curl Mix, but it usually has something to do with flaking. I've never tried it before, but I'm just going with Curl Dynasty just to be on the safe side. Design Essential uh, versus True by May Beautiful. Maybe y'all sleep. Maybe y'all have never seen this in the store. I feel like Sally's carry true by May Beautiful, but the people say design essentials. I probably would choose that too. Okay, so we're gonna put African Pride up against African Best. It, like, it's only right. And I ain't gonna lie, like, I be getting confused a lot with these two products because, like, Africa in the name, it's so close. You know, Africa's Best, Africa Pride. Like, it's real easy to get confused. But the people say, Africa Pride, Africa's Pride is the way to go. I have tried like that detangler, like aloe vera juicy type of product. It was pretty good. So I'm, def I'm definitely gonna go with that because just on the screen that I have Africa Best products and I've been trying to use a deep conditioner, but when I when y'all vote for me, which one to use, y'all never chose it. So maybe y'all know something I don't know. Oh no. Mish Beauty versus She Scented. Now I have tried Mish before. 
I never try she sent it and didn't get a chance to get anything, you know, on their holiday sales. The people say Mish Beauty 80%. And I'm choosing Mish, like I'm rolling with Mish. Eco Styler Gel versus Edge Booster. Eco Styler Gel one. Flying colors, 80% to 20. Now that's a real landslide. So y'all got me kind of scared to try the Edge Booster. Like, what is it? Is it not that good? I mean, with a name like Edge Booster, you gotta live up to your name. And last but not least, I put Carol's Daughter up against Maui Moisture. Um, I feel like I've never used a Carol's Daughter product on my natural hair. Do y'all like Carol's Daughter? Like, let me know in the comments. I'm trying to see some. Versus Maui Moisture. I probably would vote to try Maui Moisture first because I know people that rave about, I think, a deep conditioner that they have, so I'll be more open to trying it. So that concludes this really fun, this product versus that product. The people have spoken and I've you know, put in my little two cents. So let me know if a brand lost and you were shocked because they got good products. Like, let me know the good products, sis. Like, put, put a sister on. <laughs> but anyways, if you still watching and you ain't subscribed, sis, what is you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Anyways, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. The next, the next battle is, the next battle is, <laughs> so the next battle, so the next battle is, I can't think of it. Okay. <laughs> I do, ah. Okay. <laughs> so the next battle, so, so the next battle is, Ajwa Beauty versus The Duke.